My name is Alois Aragon and I'll be talking about this painting named Doña Josefa. The artist of this painting is Manuel Acosta and the media of this piece of work is oil canvas. So I'll be talking about the principles and elements of this beautiful piece of work. Thank you. <laughs> The first visual element I'll be talking about is line. We have many different types of line throughout this painting. The first one I'll be talking about is diagonal line, which can be seen through the trail behind the old lady, the shape of the lines of the fan that she is holding, and some of the fence poles that are leaning towards the face of the old lady. All these diagonal lines are all pointing to the face of the old lady, which creates our eyes to move towards the old lady. We also see some horizontal lines, which is created through the table and the mountain. We also see one vertical line, which can be seen through just one of the poles of the fence. This can be implying some uncomfortableness or tension that the old lady may have within her. All these lines are hard and implied. We also see some contour, for example, the table to the book, or the pot to the table, or the plate to the peaches. We also see some curved lines, which are the peaches and the plate. We also see two different types of shapes, geometric and organic. For geometric, we have the book and the pages of the book. All these create an implied rectangle, and also the table creates a long implied rectangle. The peaches and the plate all create an implied circle. As far as organic shapes, the shape of the old lady's body, the trail, and the mountain in the background all create organic shapes. There is no actual mass in this painting since this is a 2D oil canvas, but we do have the illusion of mass, which the artist uses the technique of Shikaro Sukuro. I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right, which is the use of dark and light values. As far as light, this can be implied that this is using natural light since the old lady is outside. So it's using the light from the sun. As far as color, we have a lot more cool colors than warm colors, therefore creating a sense of cool colors. We have some primary colors, which are yellow, green, and blue. We also can see some secondary colors in the painting, which is orange and violet. And we also can see some tertiary colors, which is red, orange, and yellow, orange. As far as space, we, ha we do have a figure and ground relationship. So the figure is the lady, the table, and the background, and the ground is the mountain and the grass. For texture, we do have visual texture, not actual texture, since it is a 2D object. And as spa space, we have the foreground, which is the old lady, the middle ground, which is the table, and the background, which is the mountains. We also, the artist uses an overlapping technique so the old lady overlaps the table, the table overlaps the grass, etc. The artist also uses an atmospheric perspective, so everything in the foreground is very clear and everything's painted to detail, but as if we get to look at the background, everything becomes blurred and turns into a bluish and greenish color, for example, the mountains and the grass. The media of this painting is 2D oil canvas. For unity, some unity can be seen on the peaches on the plate. We do have an asymmetrical balance on both sides, which gives us a sense of equilibrium. As far as scale and proportion, items are the right size. They're not too big nor too small. And the focal point is the old lady, since all the diagonal lines point to her face. Overall, I chose this painting out of all the other paintings that were in the El Paso Museum because this specific painting caught my eye since it created a sense of outdoors and I love outdoors. I love spending time outdoors. Anything to do with being outdoors, I am out there. So this is why I chose this painting. Thank you. My name is Eloise Aragon and I'll be talking about this beautiful painting named Josefina. Well, what is the name again? <laughs>